Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I am the creator of the Eye Planner, Eye Design, Eye Journals, Key Life, and a whole lot more. What you're looking at on my screen is a template that I've made to overlay onto one of the templates that comes with all the eye planners. So if you own an eye planner or if you've been researching the eye planner, you know that it comes with tons of templates. And this is one of them. It's a dot grid page and you've got a left side and a right side. And what I needed was a GTD, getting things done, method template inside my eye planner. So I created my own. It was very easy. All I had to use was the eye design eye planner tools to make my banners. And then I used ink and the straight line tool in GoodNotes 4. GoodNotes 5 also has a straight line tool. If that's the app that you're using, you'll need to familiarize yourself with that tool because it's very handy to have. So what I did is after I drew my lines and added all my banners, I turned off images so that I could lasso and just copy the ink. And the reason that I wanted to do that is so that I could take the ink over to Keynote paste it into Keynote, and then copy it again and bring it back over to GoodNote. So why would I do that? I did that so that if I ever need to erase, because obviously I'm going to be inking on this template over and over and over again for every project that I have and that I start. So if I ever needed to erase, I don't want to erase my lines because they're ink also. So there would be no way to isolate the ink lines from my ink notes that I make inside this template. So by doing that, even though it takes up an image that's the whole size of the page, I could also make sure that my images are turned off so that I don't accidentally choose it or move it if I'm moving anything else around on my template. So that just works easy for me because I'm constantly moving things around and changing things. All right, so let me just show you just a few quick things to get you going if you want to create your own template. First, I would suggest that you ink your layout first. For example, I knew that I needed project header. The status would be whether it's something that I need to do or something that I'm doing or something that is done. And I actually thought I might tweak this a little bit and make three boxes and put a T in one and a D in another and a D in another. And then that way I can just cross out one of the boxes which will show me which stage I'm in, rather than a race to do and write doing when I decide that I'm going to start it. I always have a start date and a due date, so I can keep track of that and how long it's taking me to do things. That's another really nice thing about this template. I can look back and see how long it took me for any particular project. Any collaborators that are working with me on the project, and I also do a description. And I left myself a lot of room for the description so that I could also take notes. So every project, as you well know, has a lot of tasks. There's a lot of individual tasks and even subtasks. So I'll add the tasks and the subtasks here and where I'll be when I'm doing it. So one of the tasks might require me getting in my car and driving to the grocery store or to Walmart or the hardware store. So I'll always put the task and where I'm going to be when I do the task. And then as I compile my task list, I can see how many of them will be in the same context, same place, and I can get them all done in one trip. So that's what's nice about having the context panel here. And then the complete date for each task when I completed it. That also helps me to track how long it's taking me to do things. And then naturally we have to check off things as we finish them because that is so rewarding. On the side, this I've got this whole page of real estate for me to drag and drop, do screenshots, brain dump, make lists, just whatever I need. I've got this whole page. I've put some photos here that I can crop the finished product. So let's say that I was decorating a room. I would put some a few photos of some different angled photos when I completed it so that I could also go back and look at that. But usually what I do, I'll lasso all of these and then size them down to get them out of my way because I won't need them till the project is actually done. And then I'll collect photos from Pinterest and put them here. 
I'll make a list of materials that I might need. I'll also put color swatches and paint chips over here. Just anything that has to do with the project that I'm working on, I'll throw it all right here on this page. So something else I want to suggest is to make them different colors. You can do a minimalistic. If you have a lot of color in your project, you may not want a template that has color already in it to distract you. So I made a minimalistic one. All right, so let me show you real quick how to make your lines on this template that comes in the eye planner. I'm going to erase this line. So what I usually do is I'll make a template about as wide as my iPad screen. I'll choose my ink. Let's choose red for now. And I'm going to make sure that I turn on the straight line tool or the shape tool. Like I said, I'm using GoodNotes 4. GoodNotes 5 has this tool as well. So you'll want to be familiar with the app that you're using and where these tools are located. All right, so let me go ahead and draw my line. I'm going to start at the first dot. And it doesn't matter how wobbly or wiggly I get because GoodNotes automatically straightens it out. Now I'm going to zoom in and line it up perfectly on those dots. And now let's make a vertical line. And this is a little bit harder to see because there's so many more dots that are vertical, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. All right, let me get my lasso and put this on the end. So now that I've got one horizontal and one vertical, now I'm ready to go with it. You draw those two lines and you can repeat them. So let me lasso and copy and then press and hold and paste. And then I can start making my header boxes up here on the top. And then I'll paste again. And you can customize these templates to what you need. Of course, I've shown you what I have and what I needed. But there might be some other things that you would want to include in your template when you make it. And you may not even be making a GTD template. You might be making a craft project template. All right, so see, I've got those. And then let me see, I'm going to do one more here just so that you get the idea. This isn't really exactly like the one I made already, but I just want you to quickly get the idea of how easy it is to do this. Now, see, these lines don't quite come as far over as I wanted them to. So I'm going to lasso and resize and bring them all the way over. I knew I'd have to come over here and resize again. That's the thing that I don't like how GoodNotes does everything centered. I'd rather take a little off the edge and be done. Okay, so I'm just going to go about halfway where it was overlapping. So hopefully I can go over to the other side and just bring that over. Now let's see what this side looks like. Good. That'll work. All right, so now... I'm going to have some columns down here on this bottom section, and I'll just do the same thing. I'll draw a line top to bottom, and then I can copy and paste this as many times as I need to for my column. All right, so let me show you what I do once I've got all my ink. I don't have any headers yet, and if I did have some headers in here, I would turn off images so that I'm only grabbing the ink. I'll lasso all my ink, and then I'm going to go over to Keynote, Get a blank page, and I'm just going to paste. And now it's going to be all one image. It's no longer ink, and I can erase all that I want anytime I need to make a change or erase something, and it's not going to erase my lines. And I won't have to be careful when I'm using my eraser. So now that it's one image, I'm going to just select all and copy it and take it back over to my planner and paste it. And of course, I'll have to resize a little bit because definitely a little bit off. So there's my template. And if I make some ink and I need to use my eraser, I can erase without it erasing. If I were to do that over here and get my eraser, I would have to be very careful just to erase the ink. And you see some of that ink is overlapping the line. So I'm going to inevitably erase my lines. All right, so let me show you how I'm using the GTD template that I made for a project. So I'm going to go over to one of my product projects and I put my templates behind the products tab. So this is one that I'm working on and here you can see this is the title of the project, the status, I'm in the middle of doing it, when I started it, when I plan to be done with it, any collaborators working on it with me, a short description, a short description, and then a list of tasks. And I put this together really fast so that I could show you an example, but there are also a lot of subtasks. 
in this list that I haven't listed. And here you can see on the side, I've got my palette, some of the stickers that I've already made. And I actually had a few lists here, but I took them off so that there's no spoiler alerts for what's coming. But this is a little bit of a sneak peek. Okay, I wanna see your templates. Has anybody made any or has a light bulb gone off in your head that, wow, I can make my own templates and overlay them on the existing templates that are already in the eye planner. I'm always inspired by you guys. When you show me something that you're doing, it always lets a light bulb go off in my head and I can elaborate on other ideas that eye planner users have. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be another one coming soon. Until then, you guys have an awesome day. Bye.